Today I'm showing you how to change spark plugs on a VW 1.2 TSI with the single cam. This engine is fitted in a Seat Ibiza but the same engine is also fitted in, in a whole host of other VW Audi group cars. Before you get into this job and before you attempt it obviously you need your new spark plugs. The uh, spark plugs that are fitted from the factory are NGK Iridiums IZFR6P7 and I also suggest that you make sure that you've got a few good quality strong cable ties. You can do this with a five millimeter cable tie about 300 millimeters long but I would recommend that you use a slightly bigger one if at all possible. You're probably wondering why but all will become clear soon. The spark plugs are across the front of the engine here one, two, three, four. Just behind the turbo shield and in front of the cam cover. The ignition leads come through this cover here from the coil which is at the back. This is the fitment at the end of the lead that goes over the plug once the plug is fitted into the head. And it's these devices that make the whole operation awkward. Getting at the plug top for number one here isn't so bad. But number two and number three are fairly awkward being very close to the turbo shield but number four is especially awkward being right up against the turbo shield where the turbo shield comes around the corner around the compressor there also with a very long rubber insert in there which provides insulation between the uh, main electrode and the uh, and, and earth pulling these off is no mean feat they, they require quite some tugging but as you can see getting at them is very awkward this is where your cable ties come in. Now you see I've already done number one, but this is my little trick for getting these out. Take the, take the lead, lift it out of its uh, little clip here, put a cable tie around it. Tighten it down until you've got a loop about an inch across, around 25 millimeters. I found a fine nosed pair of pliers also to be uh, a useful piece of kit. Push the loop down between the connector and the turbo shield and use a longish screwdriver or your fine nose pliers to, to tighten up the cable tie. What you're looking to achieve is the cable tie tied around this necked portion of the connector at the top. It needs to be tight enough so that when you so that if you pull it, it'll it'll grip and won't won't slip off. Now with your pliers get a grip on the cable tie's tail and pull straight outwards and upwards in line with the spark plug. Now you can cut your cable tie off. An alternative method which makes uh, access a lot easier with a T30 screwdriver or, or torque bit on a socket undo this screw in the middle of the uh, leads guide and just lift the leads guide away disconnecting numbers three and four leads out of the guide. Go in down here with a pair of pipe grips and you're looking to get the pipe grips around the top and once you have you can then use the cam cover for leverage to lift it away. Don't be tempted to pull the lead because you could, you could well pull the leads straight out of this connector and I've no idea how much they are. You can just see my pipe grips around the neck of the uh, connector there and then I'm leaning the pipe grips on the cam cover here and I'm going to push down on the grips, hold the grips together and push down getting some leverage. Don't squeeze too tight, we don't want to crush the connector. I think that moved a little there so I'm going to move the pipe grips a bit further down. Yep, I've got it moving. Now that I've got it moving I'm going to resort to bringing it the rest of the way with the cable tie method. Well I say that it's a very good job that this engine's got iridium plugs in it and that the service uh, change interval for these iridium plugs is 60,000 miles because you wouldn't want to be doing this every time you service the car that's for sure. If like me you end up breaking several cable ties make sure you recover the bits. To get this cover off by the way lift out that tag from the back of the coil with a screwdriver pushed in here 
squeeze these tags so that you can lift them out of these two locating holes. Be careful not to mix up which lead is which. So I'm doing that by putting these straight back in. Once you've got the leads disconnected, you'll need a 16 millimeter spark plug socket on an extension. This is a six inch extension. From here on in, changing the plugs is standard fare, just like you would on any engine. Unscrew them carefully. You don't want to break the spark plug at the ceramic. We don't want bits of ceramic in the engine. And if, like me, you're missing your uh, little rubber gripper insert from inside your spark plug socket, luckily the little caps on the top of the uh, spark plugs are steel. So a magnetic pickup can be used to bring the spark plug out. Drop all the spark plugs into place, either using your uh, spark plug socket, which hopefully will have a rubber insert in it to grip the spark plug, or you can uh, use your magnetic pickup trick again. Instructions for uh, tightening are actually uh, on the box. And like with any other spark plugs that have got a crush washer, these have the same as you can see on this picture. Tighten down, just nip down by hand and then add half to two thirds of a turn. Simples. Once you've tightened all your spark plugs down, don't forget to put your lead guide back. And all that remains now is to connect the leads to the spark plugs. Now it just so happens that WD-40 original is an insulating liquid. It is non-conductive. Uh, year, years ago we used to spray this stuff liberally on ignition systems to drive out dampness when we used to run cars that had their uh, distributor systems. So I'm spraying just a tiny little bit, literally just a, a tiniest of squirts on the uh, rubber inserts of the connectors just to uh, help them to slip on and hopefully it'll uh, help them to come off the next time we have to do this job. Push the connectors down on top of the spark plugs. I'm using a screwdriver on the top to uh, make sure it's pushed all the way home because it's hard to get your fingers in. The TSI cover goes back by making sure that these molded in clips go through those slots and this clip goes down the back. And start up to make sure that it runs okay. Perfecto. If you got value from this video, give it a like down by the title. Consider subscribing, there'll be more Ibiza videos in the future. And I'll see you next time.